Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, we will do a JavaScript screen capture API preview. What that means is that we we'll use the screen capture API to capture any screen. This is great for screencasting or if you want to record uh, your desktop. Uh, you can also record audio, but in this case, um, for this particular tutorial, we're just going to do the preview and there will be no recording of audio. It's just going to be the screencast, the video part alone. You can also take pictures and save. We'll do that in a future tutorial. This one is just for preview. So there's literally only one method that's used for this. That's the get display media method. So when you request this, immediately you can grab the stream from it and put it anywhere you want. In this case, it will be in a preview window, which is a video tag. So I explain what a, a media stream is here and what a stream is. And there's only one method. I said it's a get display media a method. The HTML code snippet is here. Uh, if you want to use a separate HTML file and the JavaScript code snippet is here. If you, can, if you want to use a separate JavaScript file. For this tutorial, everything will be in one file, one HTML file. So as you can see here, this is the HTML. Uh, screenshot with the I just created a button so we can start the preview uh, this way if somebody doesn't want to do the preview they're not they don't get the pop-up requesting that permission for because it's in a web browser you need to request the permission now uh, and, and then this is the video tag there's no styling but you can put whatever styles you want in here and this is the JavaScript please note that for this tutorial, uh, because it's on a local host, so this can immediately run in a web browser because it's a screen capture, meaning nothing is going out to the internet. So just for security reasons, the screen that we'll be sharing will be the same screen. Uh, I'm using NetBeans IDE to create the HTML file. This way, uh, this is just for security reasons, but you can select any window and I'll show that to you because I have some bunch of windows open. I have some multiple screens, so you can do that as well. And this is the video. So let's begin. I'm going to open up NetBeans now. So here is my NetBeans IDE. I have open. I just have one editor here. So I have the basic HTML5 and the language obviously will be English. There's a head section. There's a meta, which is UTF-8. This is redundant because I'm on Linux. It's UTF-8, it's all Unix, Linux, they're all UTF by default. And the title tag here, I'm using the Learning JavaScript Screen uh, Course, Screen Capture API uh, Preview. Remember when you're doing the preview today? There's no styles, but you can put whatever styles in here. And then in the body, we can start here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create a button. I'll give it a class of start. And I'll call it preview. Uh, so I mean the text will be preview. Next, we'll create a video tag. This is where the preview will actually happen. Give it a class of preview. I'll give it a width of 1280, which is just the HD. You can make it as big or small as you want. I'll put the autoplay on so and it will be muted. This allows the video to automatically play when it's put in there. Now or oh, the last part we need is the JavaScript. Just put a script tag. So in here, uh, you could, the code snippet is uh, there as well. So we, what we can do here is, let's see. Okay. You can copy and paste. So I'll create two variables. 
query selector because it's a class so it will be start so I'll duplicate this it's going to be preview and I'll rename this to preview next for the start that's our button there we'll add an event listener we'll look for click be a function should we close this off so uh, the method we use is navigator dot media devices and this is the method get display media now there is only two uh, arguments so, so we want the video true and for the audio it's false I don't need audio because all I care about is just recording the screen so then because it's a promise then I want to grab the stream from it put it into a so what do I do with the stream what I want to do is I want to take it and the video tag I'll, that's where I'll place it this the source object okay and here this will be false because I'm not returning anything and I really don't want to return anything so here I didn't make any mistakes now I can open it up I can open this up in a web browser and I'll show you what it looks like I've zoomed in so you'll be able to see it so here is the preview button so when I click the preview button I get a whole bunch of options uh, because though I'm using the web, a Brave browser I can grab one of the tabs so the only other tab is this one here I can use that one I can pick a specific window or I can pick an entire screen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a specific window and this is the one I want the editor you can see the little preview here for the editor Now, uh, the reason it's not working is because I'm also recording OBS Studio, so there's not enough memory. So I'm going to I'll stop this one here, and I will do another preview. I'll see if I can preview something else. That sh there we go. So <clears throat> in this particular case, I'm previewing the actual um, this tab here. So as you can see, that's where I left off with the video and if we go back here this should be previewing here so the reason it's not previewing is because of the uh it, because i'm using obs studio and I have a whole bunch of screens open so that's it so i can please stop here and stop it has stopped the screen share so uh, as i said this is the video you're watching right now and if you want to learn more about uh, JavaScript, I do have a course on ojumboshop.com. You can get 20% off using the promo code SCHOOL until the end of 2024. All you need is a web browser. You can, even this particular uh, tutorial, you can, you'll be able to run this in the web IDE uh, and compile it there. Uh, just to let you know that uh, JavaScript follows the MS script standard and is licensed under W3C software license allows commercial use modification distribution allows making derivatives proprietary so it's open source uh, be sure to subscribe for more frequent tutorials such as this or if you have a request just uh, put it down in the description uh, you can also get the ebook to learn JavaScript at your own pace this one doesn't include JavaScript, it doesn't include the compiler, meaning it doesn't come with JavaScript or a, an IDE or a text editor. So you can learn this by yourself you, uh, from Amazon.com, just 
search for Eduardo Jumbo, the links are in the description. And also for this uh, article, under references, you can get to the learning JavaScript course on jumboshop.com, the learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon, and if you want one-on-one -on -one tutorials, uh, you go to jumboservices.com. Uh, you can also request custom websites, uh, web applications, mobile applications. If help, oh, tutorials could be uh, making your own website or making your own applications. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you.